guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Jade and today I'm back with a pretty exciting Dollar Tree haul if you happen to hear any cute little children I do have them outside my office so please excuse them but hey it's mom life and we're here for it so without any more I am just gonna go get into it I'm pretty excited with the things that I found this week so the first thing I'm gonna show you is the only thing that I found that was Christmas you may have seen it in my thumbnail and again, I could not believe my eyeballs because I've been pretty shook lately uh, seeing the people doing little walkthroughs and they've got like one end cap of Christmas and I've seen all the gnome things. So I went into my local Dollar Tree the other day and I found an end cap, but it had nothing what anybody else has been showing. But I did find these picks. These are new. I've never seen these before. They are absolutely cute. They are like kind of imperfect around the nose, but I'm pretty sure we could just fix that. So they had two different styles. They had this one that has like the multicolored ones. And then they had these ones that are just gray with the snowflakes. Some of them are popping off, but it's easy to like, see how that one's lifting up? That's easy to just fix with a little bit of glue. So I did pick up one each of those. And that I think that in this this is the only thing i picked up christmas is i just picked up these set of led wired lights in the christmas trees they did have like the trucks and all that which i did get last year but i didn't get the christmas trees and i like the wired ones because i like to be able to manipulate them there that's a better look at it see so i did grab one of those this dollar tree i went into did not have these hung up they literally had them in a box in a section i think it was the bathroom section and i couldn't believe it uh we literally walked past me and my mom and i looked down and i'm like wait a minute those are gold toe socks so we went through the bucket and i found some really good socks so i did pick up this three pack of neutral they come with two black and a gray and these are casual ones these are for her so i figured i'm just gonna get rid of any old socks that i have and you know for the dollar for three pairs these are normally $14 the pairs that I found were these boot socks. They say they're soft and cozy, warm and toasty. And it's not coming off the true color on the camera, but it's this really pretty peach pink color with this nice little khaki color. So these normally are $14 as well. So I picked up a pair of those. Then I love these because these were just nice and neutral. These you get how many pairs? One, two, you get three pairs and they are super soft. And these were my favorite finds because they're just plain and comfortable. Again, these were $14 as well. Then I found these and these just threw me back to the 90s. So I had to get them just because. And they're again, super soft. And these are casual. You get three pairs of them. You get the gray pair. You get a white pair. And you get like a charcoal, like a really dark gray color. Again, these were $14. So I love that they are... Oh, so soft these ones are and look they even tell you oh so soft and these are three pairs same one they say ultra soft turn cuff but they are again soft these were $14 as well you get a very pretty baby pink color and you get two of this like khaki tan beige color but they are so soft great find then I also found this one. I like these ones too. These are the designer collection. You get three pairs. Again, these were, ooh, these were $16. Oh my. <laughs> so we have this one right here that has that one. And then they have this one. So these are a little bit more of like a preppy, maybe like businessy one. These ones have like little speckles on it. So I did pick up one of those. Then I found these ones, which I was super excited for. These are a three pack as well, but these are more of like the, the kind like my husband wears to go for work. And they're like the boot kind of, you know, like the workers one they have. These are normally $9, but hey, that's still a good find. So they had three pairs left and I picked these up to replenish the ones that he has. Cause fortunately you get holes in the toes from wearing boots for work. So I did pick up those again, great find. Then the last great find that I found were these. They are all pro, a gold toe brand. And these ones are women's. These were normally this one doesn't actually tell you. Well, they don't tell you how much they were. But I loved how these were all tie-dyed looking. So you get a purple pair, 
that is a neon pink but it kind of looks a little red on here but it is neon pink and then this really pretty blue color so I did pick up those then that's it for all my gold toe socks I think I hit the jackpot there I can get rid of all the crappy ones that are in my sock drawer and then replenish them with these comfy little bad boys so I'm excited about those the next thing I'm going to show you are a couple of signs I finally was able to find in my local Dollar Trees and this one they've never had before and I just love it it says every year I fall for pumpkins, bonfires, s'mores, autumn, leaves, apples, and you. So I did pick up one of those. I love this. This is just so pretty. Love it. So I got that one. And then again, I think this one's new. I don't remember seeing this, but this one just says welcome. And it has all the pumpkins on it. So I picked up one of those. And then I think this one's new too. This one says thankful and blessed. And I love this style that hangs like this. I have a perfect area in my house for these when they started them last year. So I'm excited that I found this one. The only thing I will say is when they were hung up and I was going through them trying to find, you know, like the perfect one, you see right here, it is literally just paper on top of this board. A lot of them are already peeling off. Now mine looked like it wasn't peeling off, but you know, with the heat of the sun and just cause I live in Florida, it's just inevitable. But all you have to do is re-glue it down. But I will say, eh, not the best made, but hey, I guess it will get you through that one season. Then the so. next couple of things that I picked up were in the Halloween section. I found these cute little buckets and they had a bunch of different ones, but this was the one that I liked the most. I only found two of this one that says trick or treat in this style. I wanted to get my kids a little trick or treat kind of start off the Halloween year with some cute like things for Halloween. Maybe if it was PJ socks, all that. So I only found two of these. I'm going to keep an eye out for two more of the same because I like to keep them all the same. Um, so yeah, so I got these two. And then I did find some socks. So I found these really cute little Boo Crew socks. So like something like this is what I'm going to just put in here. So when October 1st comes, my kids can have all the cute little things Halloween. I did find some things at the Target dollar spot that I'm going to put in here. And I will show that in another haul. So I hope you enjoy. Please consider subscribing if you'd like to stick around for other hauls that I will be doing in the future. So I picked up that for my one kid and then I picked up these other ones which are so cute. I really like these ones too. And they have bats on it, it's really pretty orange. And then for myself, or actually even maybe my older son, he may like these ones. These are green and black with the cute little fuzzy ghosts on them. And then I found these socks that I loved with just like all the different things on it. So I did pick up those. I haven't found any for um my youngest son because he's like kind of not at this size so i don't know i'll have to keep an eye out for him and for my youngest daughter my youngest she haven't found those yet <laughs> so that's what i found there then the next things i'm just going to show you are my kids have really started to get into lego more than they have before i have picked up a couple of the blocks and little building things that um, dollar tree does have but seems as they show more interest and then i just happened to go into this dollar tree and they restocked up all their things i'm just going to quickly show you a couple things that i picked up that they might find fun so they had this white house so i did pick up that for them then they also had this fire rescue and then they also had this one which i thought was cool for halloween and it's a zombie so i picked up that one then I picked up a little policeman with an ATV. That will be something fun. And then I picked up this two pack. This is a farmer and police man. So I got that. And then the second to last piece I got because I did get them this um, base pad. I have one of these already and they liked making like a little like car shelter where they were taking their Hot Wheels and kind of parking it. But I only had one. And you know, my two boys were fighting over it. So <laughs> I picked up another one to make a roof. And then I thought this was interesting. This is called 
zombie 34 pieces building blocks and I'm assuming you get all three of those that you can kind of you can kind of build so I thought that that was kind of fun maybe even for Halloween maybe I could throw that yes because look I found another one look at me thinking <laughs> so they had this pack as well so I think maybe what I'll do with these two is I'll throw that into their like little like kit here because a zombie that would be fun um if you saw maybe in like my last couple of hauls I found my son the floor track that they have now and that's what kind of introduced them to really wanting to build like a city because they said oh look you could build a city with this so that's why when I saw those other things that is just going to be great for them and lots of fun so I did get those then a couple stationary things I found I went into a totally different Dollar Tree this time and I found the Spider-Man ones a couple uh, hauls ago, but now I found Minnie Mouse, and these are just a two pack of erasers. You can put them on your pencil or not. These are not distributed by Greenbrier, but she is so cute, so I had to pick up those for my daughter. And then I found an eight pack of Spider-Man markers, so I thought that was really cool. These are not distributed by Greenbrier, so these are a great find. I have plenty of things that I can do these for. Like I have said before, kids, my kids' birthday, stockings, their Halloween box, whatever. Then I got a couple of stickers because if they're really cute and they're new, I, you know, I gotta get them. I'm sorry. But look how adorable these kitty cat stickers are. I have two cats, so I did pick up two of these because I think these would be really cute. Whenever I find the time to scrap book, I just think these are so adorable. So I did pick up two of those. And then these ones just look fun because who cannot resist food faces? <laughs> so you get back in front. So you get 88 count of stickers. So I did pick up that. And of course, can you see the coffee? That's probably the reason why I picked it up for myself. The kids can have the other ones. Then I found these and I thought these were really cool. These are new. These are desktop reward stickers. They are removable and re positionable you get 18 counts in there and I thought that these were really cool because I'm just gonna save them I'm gonna save them for um like when I do like a little gift basket for my kids my kindergarten teacher I like to put things like this in there I've done it before for my other kids and they really appreciate little cute things like this so I did pick up that then the next thing that I have is this rub on transfer sticker. This one says happy fall y'all. This is the only one that I found. I know there are other ones out there, but I did find this one. So I got one of those. And then I needed to replenish these little removable hooks. I love these. They work great for me. And again, I decided to get the clear this time. I normally get the white ones, but I had to replenish those so I did get those and then I needed to get the next size up like these bigger ones with the deeper like hook because I use these underneath my kitchen sink and I hook onto you know how you get the swifter the yellow swifter brush thing I used to have it just underneath my sink and then I'd like it would fall behind something so what I ended up doing was putting this on the door and then I just hook it on there so when I open up my kitchen underneath the door it's hooked right onto the side, so I had ideas for other things that I could do this with, so I needed to replenish them. Lately, they were only selling the ones that did not have this removable hook portion, you know, like the command ones. So I really just didn't want to buy those because I didn't want to have to deal with that. So now that I've seen that they're actually coming back with the removable ones, and then I decided to get the clear ones because normally I was always ever getting the white. But anyways, long story short, I picked up those. Then I picked up some googly eyes. I finally was able to replenish these. My kids have been doing so many crafts and they ran out of their googly eyes and he was like, mommy, can you give me more? So when I went to this Dollar Tree, I was able to find those. Such a great buy for a dollar. Then I needed to pick up, what did I need? I didn't need anything, let's just be real. Anything I'm gonna show you is not a need. <laughs> Let's, let's, let's just be real. Everything here is, I saw it and I wanted it. So the next thing I'm going to show you is new. It is from Personal Care and it is the Insect Repellent. This is not distributed by Greenbrier. It is a plant-based repellent and it is in a four fluid ounce bottle. So I did pick up a couple of those. 
that's a really interesting find and you know i live in florida so mosquitoes are here every single day every day of the year so that was a great find for me then randomly in the checkout section i came across this sand toy and a lot of them are pretty flimsy at the dollar tree um but this one is really heavy duty and my son loves to dig we have a sand pit so i got this also from when we go to the beach so that was cool i only had one left but that was good enough then i picked up two things in like the little fall section i repurchased these led lights with the fall trees these are not the wired ones but i did pick these up for my tiered tray and then i was able to find the napkins in this one i thought it was very farmhousey with the pumpkins and i'm gonna go ahead and put these in my um, coffee bar station when i redo that for fall which will be really soon because i'm itching to get my pumpkins out then the last couple of things i have to show you are these lifesaver gummies this was a request from my my oldest son he really liked these so i found these i cannot find these at every dollar tree at all so when i went to the one that i went to i finally found them so i picked them up two of those then this is new this is from april or spa april bath and shower this is a sugar coffee body scrub is 1.7 fluid ounces this was new it was a brand new pack that someone had just put out and this is what it looks like on the inside it definitely oh yeah well it's definitely sugary and it smells like coffee mm. like you can see it's got that sugar crystals when you're rubbing it in and it's nice and soft is this for the ever notice you're not quite yourself without your morning cup of coffee well we believe the same is true about a morning scrub invigorate and detoxify your skin with our sugar coffee scrub and you'll thank us in the morning and so will your co-workers apply liberally when bathing using circular motions on body avoid your face and other delicate areas that is a very very small writing if you can even tell but that's what it's saying about these. So picked up one of those to try out. Very nice. Then the last thing I'm going to show you are these Axe Fresh and Clean Body Soaps. Now, as you know, Dollar Tree does sell one of these. I've purchased it before for my son. But these are a four pack. Can you believe that? This is a face and body soap, a four pack. So you best believe I bought two of those. Can you believe that? Like you buy one of these for a dollar, but I got four of them for a dollar. So that's a fantastic deal. So I had to get those. Now, I said that was the last thing I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna show you these just because. Now, every year when my kid turns a different age, I like to get them the birthday cards that are the age and then sometimes I like to get more of like a sentimental one that says happy birthday son happy birthday brother I I believe that birthday cards are really important we have lost that throughout the year and me I still have birthday cards from when I was a little girl and I look back at them now and they mean everything to me especially the ones where that person is no longer with us like the cards that I have from my dad are everything to me everything to me and i want that for my kids they adore their nanny they adore everybody so to have those saved up is going to mean a lot to them they may not understand it now but when they get older it is going to mean something to them so with that being said i do believe birthday cards are very important every year for my children so i like to get the ones that have the numbers on it because it's fun right you only turn that age once and then i like to get something that like i said is a little more sentimental a son one a daughter one whatever the case may be so sometimes it's hard to find the number ones i have found yet i mean i have my oldest is 11 my youngest is just turned four so i know throughout the years it's been hard so at dollar tree when i was checking out one time i saw they wasn't even in the birthday card it was kind of in the front and it was on his own little display section and it literally had every single year up to I don't know if it was up to 16 or it was up to 18 so what I did was is I bought two years 
for each one of my kids. So my one kid is turning nine this year and they did have like a boy version and they did have a girl version. So I bought my son the nine year old one and I call him my bear and he actually is in my, um, my circle picture of my YouTube channel. He's nine. He's going to be nine next month. And that's the picture of him when he was a baby. I call him my bear. So I did get him a nine and then I got him a 10. Then my, my youngest son is going to be turning six. So I got him a six and then I got him a seven. Now my daughter, like I said, just turned four. So I got her a five and then look how pretty this one is. And then I got her a six. This one has like sparkles all over it. And then my oldest is 11 now, but he'll be turning 12. So I got him a 12 and then I got him a 13. I literally wanted to get every single age all the way up until they just didn't have any more, but I didn't want to go too crazy. So I figured at least getting the two years, I have a stash of cards that I keep on hand. So this is just going to go in my card stash, but I figured I'd show you in case, you know, you may think the same way, or maybe you needed to get one for somebody, you know, I'm just going to tell you they had a new display of all numbers. So that was fantastic, right, everybody. That's everything I got this week at my Dollar Tree. I thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video and see all of the interesting things that I may have found this week. I hope you guys have a great week and a great day. Stay blessed and thank you so much again. Bye.